What's up, weirdos? We are back at it again. Welcome to another episode of Weirdo Waffles. Yeah. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We are, right? We are. We are making a waffle-ish. Heather doesn't call it a waffle because essentially we're just pressing it. Yeah, we're making my version or our version of a sourdough jack from Jack in the Box. We're gonna use the waffle kind of like a panini press a little bit. Waffle it. Yeah, and we're gonna waffle that and see how that turns out because I'm hungry. Hungry. And I need some sustenance in my belly. Sustenance. So we're gonna turn this around and get this started and see how it goes. Yeah. All right, so we're getting it started, huh? Yep, we're gonna make the bacon because mm. that's a big part of the sourdough jack. Mm -hmm. Is the bacon. Mm -hmm. Look at that bacon. I love bacon. Mm -hmm. So I watched this YouTube video on how what's in a sourdough jack. Yeah. And the the bacon, it's like four half pieces. So, so two, it fits on good, right? Yeah, two whole pieces of bacon okay. per sandwich mm. is what Jack in the Box does. So two whole, wow, two whole pieces per sandwich. That's yeah, because the, the person making it said it's it's four half pieces. So gotcha. I'm guessing that's two whole. That makes sense. Um, they looked like they equaled one big piece. Right? These are gigantic They are huge, bacon. look oh at those God, things. Oh my God, it can normally fit four. doing over here? I have this meat and I couldn't find anywhere that showed like how the meat is seasoned for mm -hmm. the sourdough jack. I'm assuming that's their secret. Right. So I'm just going to use like some Lipton onion soup mix. Okay. That always works really well for me when I wanted to season like chicken. Okay. Plus it smells so good. Mmm, <laughs> give it a try. Yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. Bacon. I put the uh Onion soup mix in there. Okay. I'm sure you can see that. Now you're gonna make your patties? Yeah. All right. <sighs> so we don't actually use real meat. Except for the bacon. Except for the bacon. <laughs> um, for our hamburgers, for our red meat. So we're using impossible meat. Yes. We mainly eat this in like the Morningstar brand, mm -hmm. like that. Um, but on occasion, we do still have chicken and bacon, but we are trying to cut that all out still yeah. eventually, but not yet. Can't do that. Can't. I actually haven't seen like, I think there's like turkey bacon. I don't know if there's fake bacon. Maybe I haven't looked hard. There's yet. turkey. I don't know about impossible bacon, but yeah. This feels weird. <laughs> We're going to cook these patties now. I'm going to just use the bacon plate. Mm -hmm. Leave a little bit of the bacon grease in there. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'm gonna turn that off. It mm. didn't turn on yet. <laughs> it's gonna have a big blow up. Okay, there we go. Woo! That was scary. It's gonna have a little bacon flavor from the bacon grease in there. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle. Then Heather's gonna get her ASMR video in here for the Instagram. Time to flip them? Yeah. All right. The coolest thing I love about Impossible Meat and like, is that a brown? Yeah. Same thing with like the uh, the other one. I forget the other brand right now. The Morningstar one or is that a different one? Beyond Beef. Beyond Beef, yeah. That's the same thing. They, they actually brown like meat. Mm -hmm. And you know, you watch something where they explain it's, yeah. it's literally like beets or turnips or something and yeah. they actually change color when heat's applied to it. It, it was really cool. It was, so it, was a, cool. it was like a little documentary they went into. It, it was uh, Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link, yeah. yeah. They, they have a new show. That was really cool to see because like I had no idea. I thought that the meat, I thought it was like magic. Right. But it's actual, the vegetable itself browns when heat's applied. That's just Very, crazy to me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done. All right. Burgers are ready. Bacon's ready. Ooh. The air fryer was chimed and that's ready. Ooh, look at the steam coming Did out Did you there. smell the, the onion soup mix? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, look at these nice tomatoes. Beautiful. Ooh. 
Right. So um, with the sourdough jack, if you haven't had it before, the, the bread's always grilled. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of make sure we had grill marks. I feel like you're in my face. I'm getting really close because the air fryer is picking up oh. all the sound. Do you want me to pause it? No, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to butter butter the bread mm -hmm. uh, to try and get a better grill on it, basically. Nice. Because the video I watched did not show how the bread was grilled, just that it was already grilled. Right. They probably do it on the cooktop, you know? But we don't have a cooktop, so we're doing it our way. put these together mm -hmm. the video I saw they just put some, like a little circle of mayo and ketchup on one side so that's what we're gonna do all right just, kind of just like them yep. yep that's not a circle at all <laughs> I think I might need to spread this just it's a dollop probably right it's not to the edges yeah sure or is that okay yeah do it, do it how you want that's we're improving our sourdough deck we're making it the way we want to do it Cause you know, I, I like to cover all the bread. Mm. Okay. He did bacon for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Split in half just the way it should be. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna have to give this guy credit because <laughs> he helped us figure out how to do the sourdough jack. Okay. Um, so tomato actually goes on this side. Then it's two cheeses, one on one side of the bread, one on the other. But because I have that one underneath right now, we're gonna wait till I put it in here. <laughs> Who's ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. So exciting. Oh my gosh. Look at that stack. It's yeah. way too big. This I'm is gonna be amazing though. I'm excited for it. Oh my god. Uh -oh. This is the biggest panini press waffle ever. Go for it. Oh, I see. Because the hinge, yeah. There you go. Perfect. And we're just going to squish it down like a panini press. That'll waffle it down a little bit. Look at it. Obviously, a lot bigger than a regular sourdough jack, but that's what happens when you do homemade stuff. You right. Know? And I think we're really just kind of going for the waffling on the bread anyway. So that'll right. just kind of toast the bread. Yeah. Wrong way. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Are you holding it down for dear life? Yeah, I'm, I'm down low, so it's easier to hold, <laughs> hold listen, it down. Listen to the sizzle in there, though. Oh my God. <laughs> That is exactly what I was hoping. You know, that that's really all I wanted. I wanted a waffled bread with sourdough jack. And now we got it. And the fries are ready too, so it's Woo! time to eat. Let's eat. Look at those. What did you do? <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot wait. Dude, she made it. Did you see it? Holy cow, it's a sourdough jack waffled. Let's call it that, waffled. Waffled. Not a sourdough jack waffle, but it's a sourdough jack waffled. waffled. Yeah, that's like good. That. All right, let's need some ketchup for these fries. I'm gonna go in this Woo! first though. Ooh, this is warm. Oh, I cannot wait for this. Oh man. Let's see what your reaction is. Did you hear that crunch? Did they hear that? Oh my. 
First you need of to all, get your microphone for this one too. My hands are dirty. Yeah. The onion soup mix in the impossible, or sorry, yeah. it's impossible meat. Yeah. yeah. So fucking good. Um, this is this is bomb so far, but I want to get in farther because there's more. I just kind of got meat and cheese. All right, I'm going in, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's so crunchy. It's so crispy. It's, so, just, it's really good. And it's good. solid, you know? So. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm. I'm, all, I'm watching your face. I was like. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted, mm. to be honest with you. And dare I say, you made it better than a sourdough jack. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is better. Like this is so cool. I would put this on a menu somewhere mm. I mean, if we had a restaurant. Oh, good. Like, look at this thing. It, it's it's enormous. It's so fun. It's waffled. I mean, it has everything. The cheese in there is just melted to a perfection. It's crunchy and, oh. and stringy. Yeah. Yes. Ready for this pull? Let's pull. Snap. Yeah, and it, oh, it crisped up the bread. The the butter on the bread was Josh's idea, and that totally... Because mm -hmm. not only did it crisp it, but I feel like the butter also seeped into the bread as it was cooking. It did. And then all the other liquids, like the ketchup, the, the mayo, it's it like kind of seeped into everything. Oh. They'll be able to see at home. I got shots of it. Actually, you can see the butter coming through the bread and mm. just pouring down into the uh, waffle maker. Okay. It's real, I don't know if you can see my stuff dripping, but like it's juicy. Yeah. Oh it's, my gosh. It's not dry at all. Like this, it's, oh. It's this so is such good. a cool idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad we did this. I want to do more um, nostalgic inspired type of uh, foods and waffles and stuff like that. So if you've got ideas, let us know what your favorite ones are. We'll see if we can turn, you know, do a waffle inspired version of it. Yeah, like if you haven't checked it out, we also have a, where we did a mm. Crunchwrap Supreme, mm -hmm. but that one was actually in a waffle, mm -hmm. Taco Bell's Crunchwrap. So check that one out too. That's that's in our video library. Oh my God. So good. This is amazing. Yeah, it's not even real meat. That's that's the kicker, right? We got bacon on there, so that's real bacon. But the red meat is not real meat. Mm. It is so, so, so good. So juicy. Mm. I thought maybe the meat would, be, or the, the burger part would get a little overcooked and it's not. It's not at all. It's, it's kind of perfect. Everything about it is perfect. I don't know if that has anything to do with it being impossible meat or if I just cooked it enough so that when it cooked in, like it, mm -hmm. there was still maybe a little bit that needed to be cooked. Because mm -hmm. I actually have a little, little bit of pink on the inside. Yeah. A very tiny bit. So it's possible that it wasn't fully cooked and then it just helped cook it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. so good. Mm. All right, guys. Yeah, we're gonna just keep eating this. The verdict's in. If you make this at home, you are not gonna regret it. Your family will love it. It's super fun. It's fun mm. to look at. Let's be real. You, your food should also look fun and be fun and, and, and look appetizing. It shouldn't just look like a slop on a plate, like a, a chili waffle or <laughs> <You're like laughs> hey! so, but. This is a very appealing looking waffle. It uh, it's a very fun waffle. The burger is great. <laughs> You're like, no, it's not. Like, not a waffle. <laughs> that waffle sandwich thingy that we made. The creation of me. But either way, try it at home. Let us know Ooh. how it turns out. Let us know. Please, how, yeah. Let us know if you think there's a way to improve it even more over this. Yeah. I think the onion mix was really a good idea. Oh, yeah. If you have a different way that you season your meat, let mm -hmm. us know. That's just kind of what has always been my easy go-to seasoning way back when, when I didn't have stuff. Like if I was trying to cook chicken, I would put some, I would get some cream of mushroom soup and onion soup mix, mix that together and mm -hmm. cover the chicken. Yeah. It was yummy. You have always found creative ways to season things. But you got to use what you have, you know? Right. So check it out at home. Let us know what you, what you like, what you do different. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Share our videos, tell your friends, your family. Let's get this going here and let's see if this sandwich, this sourdough jack waffled will uh, start. Oh, also. Viral. Hi, Brandon's mom. Oh, hi, Brandon's mom. We were told you watch us all the time. Yeah, so hi, hello. <laughs> and thank you. Mm, mm. My God.
everybody's fantastic. Yeah. All right. We're going to still sit here and eat this and see how it goes. I'm not even sure I'm going to even get to the fries because <laughs> this is so good, but. This is so good. I'm so happy. Yeah. My belly's happy. You, and it's funny because Josh had come up with this a long time ago yeah. and kept getting put off and put off. So I think you're pretty happy. With I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you can see it on the table, my feet are dancing and it's the whole nine yards. So, but anyways, till next time, weirdos. Bye. Bye. I also have pink inside oh. of my body. If you stupid. <laughs> this I'm is, like, what? I, I was going back to a waiting joke. Mm. I want a hot pink center, don't we all? Mm -hmm. That's where I was going. <laughs> this is why I married her. Because <laughs> she gets all my movie references. Uh, I speak fluent movie quotes. Yeah. I mean, granted, I think nowadays most of my references are kind of dated because I'm an old part. <laughs>